guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley if you are new welcome and if you're not new thank you so much for coming back for another video in today's video we are talking about the dubious place nomad palette it was just really up my alley when I saw this color story that they released on Instagram and we're doing a first impressions in this video so if you want to see how I achieved this eye look then definitely stay tuned So let's get into it. Here is the Nomad palette from Juvia's Place. They recently came out with the Warrior 3, and that really, I wasn't feeling that one. Um, so they came out with this one like a couple days later, and I was like, that's really kind of up my alley. <laughs> All the grunginess and like neutral tone and stuff like that of the palette, and then this beautiful like sparkly yellow shade there. Oh, very pretty. So um, let's get into using this bad boy. All right, all right, so I'm taking a fluffy brush into the yellow shade. The shades don't have names, so. And if they do, they're not on the palette. So I'm putting this yellow shade. It has some sparkle in it, but it's really not that noticeable. So, um, you know, it's like a matte with a few specks of glitter. But if you do a swatch, you'll see the um, glitter in it. Yeah, I like that, um, the brightness of this tone. The thing with it is that the sparkles that are in it, I mean, it's not just a little bit of sparkle, but it's not a metallic, but they're kind of flicking. They're flicking out. And now uh, for the rest of the transition area, I'm going in with the mid-tone, like, um, terracotta shade on the same brush. Why not? And laying that down in the rest of the transition area. And this one doesn't have any glitter in it, so it's just a flat matte. And I'm actually taking some of that near, like right above where I laid the yellow to get a little bit more warmth in that area. I don't know why this palette was just like so pretty to me. But I like when Juvia's Place, they come out with, you know, more neutral tones sometimes. Because a lot of the times their palettes are very, very, um, you know, colorful and stuff. And so I feel like I'll get more use out of this, just like like the Warrior Two and One, the Warrior One, the Warrior Two, and that's laying down very pretty, very nicely. And I like the way that um, the excess of this shade combined with some of the yellow over here is. All right, so I'm gonna take the dark brown in the palette on this outer corner here while this is pigmented. I didn't pick up a lot, but yeah, this is pigmented, so be very watchful it's like a brown black so a cool toned dark brown yeah that's pretty though so I won't say that these shades are like super um, unique I mean I'm sure everyone has like a cool toned brown black shade or even like this uh, like brownish orangey terracotta now I do not have anything like that yellow that has the sparkle in it you know unless it's just like gone under my radar in a palette that I don't hardly ever use but I don't remember anything like that in any of my palettes now do I have yellows in my palettes of course I'm gonna use the dark metallic in the palette it's like a greenish brown it's really pretty it's got like a hunter green tone to it that I didn't realize when I picked up this palette. So even when I looked at the shade yesterday, cause I did do some swatching, I didn't realize that it has a green hint to it, like a deep, like forest green, forest hunter green, you know, shade to it. So that's pretty. I'm going to use uh, the other metallic in this palette on the other, on the inner corner area. blend over you know any excess so it's easy to pick up too much of this even with your finger because Juvia's Place metallics are so like creamy it feels like so it's easy to do too much uh, get too too much of the shade to the point of you added too much like metallic on your lid so you don't need a lot and if you do get a lot then you're gonna have some fallout like I just did Hopefully it just knocks off easily because I've got a lot of fallout. So now I've got a lot of, 
you know, sheen up in there. It's not bad, but it's not what I was going for. So that's what happens sometimes. I pulled way too much of that silvery metallic on my finger and it went everywhere it looks like. So next for my lower lash line I'm going to take some of the green, the matte green shade and put that on my lower lash line. And I'm going to take the white cream shade. It actually has a little bit of sparkle in it. But I'm going to take that as a matte brow bone, you know, highlight color. And I'm just blending over that to make sure it's blended out. Alright, so I'm going to do my other eye off camera and come back with the final look. Alright guys, here is the final look. I just put some lip gloss on, so here's the, um, here are the eyes though. Got the liner. I think this is really pretty. I really like this palette. I like it. I know it's a first impression, guys, but I feel like I use a decent amount of the shadows. Um, I use seven shadows out of not. Y'all don't gotta do this. That just sounds absolutely ridiculous, but I use seven shadows out of the nine. So the only two that I did not use is this like, like orangey cream shade. Like it's kind of more like a yellow cream and then this like mossy green shade here but I use all the other ones and all the other ones performed very nicely so I would just say be watchful with these this one particular um it's very creamy so it's easy to pick up too much of it on your finger if you do use your finger and I would imagine even more so with a brush. Um, so, you know, you could get that fallout. So if you're gonna use that shade, I would just say put some powder down just to make sure you don't have too much fallout and then don't go too ham into that shade with your finger and then you'll be good. But everything blended out so nicely. I, um, yeah, I didn't have any issues at all with it other than the fallout. I would say for this yellow shade, it didn't have to have any glitter in it. Maybe they did that for some, um, some ease of blending or something maybe it adds a little bit of something to the formula to make it more easy to use I don't know but I don't see the sparkle too much I mean I see a little bit of sparkle up here from where I used that yellow shade you know you guys can see a little bit of the sparkle but it's nothing noticeable which is fine with me it's not a yellow metallic so yeah I don't know. I like the palette, guys. You guys let me know what you think about this look. I think it's very everyday wearable. Um, in regards to the layout of the palette, I mean, could they have added one more metallic and taken away one matte? Maybe. Probably. But I think the palette is nice the way it is. So, you guys let me know. Very neutral, natural type of I won't say natural look, but a very neutral toned look. You can get an everyday look out of that, obviously, with those shades that are available in there. So I definitely like it. All right, you guys, let me know your thoughts. And thank you guys once again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more content from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys once again for watching, and I will talk to you guys really, really soon. See ya.